So you yep. ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get started. Meet Terry Bylan, the first person in the world to receive not one, but two bionic eyes. This is how the Argus II works. The patient wears special glasses which have a built-in video camera. The visual information is then wirelessly transmitted to the retinal implant in the eye. Electrodes stimulate the retina's remaining cells to send those visual signals to the brain to interpret. Hi. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. I can tell they're there. Mm -hmm. Now as I'm scanning, mm -hmm. there you are. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in between there. Correct. There's nobody standing or, or sitting right there. That's right. Okay. In June 2004, Terry was one of the first people in the United States to receive the bionic eye as a participant in the Argus One clinical trial. It was just like a, a distant pinpoint of light. Yeah. That's all there was. It was just darkness all around and one single electrode came on. Now, over 10 years later, he has received the technologically advanced, commercially released Argus II with nearly four times the number of electrodes and an advanced algorithm to help him see better. Terry hopes to get better resolution from the 60 electrode device, but according to Dr. Robert Greenberg, chairman of Second Sight Medical, the increased number of electrodes will only be part of the reason why Terry can expect increased performance. So one of, the, one of the early ideas that we had was that you could improve resolution by increasing electrode count. You could improve resolution a little bit by increasing the number of electrodes, but not dramatically. And our approach early on was to build a single hardware platform that you could increase the resolution by uh, software, uh, software tricks. Dr. Lisa Almos Deku from the University of Southern California performed Terry's most recent implant. Terry's case is unique uh, in the world, really, because Terry has the first generation device, the Argus 16 device, in his fellow eye, in his right eye, and that was implanted back in 2004. And he will be the only patient in the world to have ever had an Argus 16 device and an Argus 2 device and be able to compare the difference in his vision using those two devices. So the Argus 2 primarily benefits patients in terms of increased mobility, being able to see outlines of doors and windows and outlines of people and feeling more socially connected is a big plus from the Argus 2. Some examples of unique things that patients have been able to do include bowling. I have a, a patient who was an avid bowler before she lost her vision from retinitis pigmentosa and um, a few months after her implantation decided to give it a whirl and it was able to identify the bowling lane, uh, the contrast between the edges of the lane and the center part of the lane and just made an absolute strike. It was pretty amazing to see her, her bowling. This is a woman who is completely blind. It is pretty incredible that we can create artificial vision using the power of science and engineering and electronics and combine that with the skills that we learn as ophthalmologists and as surgeons and combine that all together to provide the gift of sight uh, to many people who have lost it. So you ready? Today is the day to see if the procedure was successful for the second time. A crowd of onlookers gathered to witness the event to see if the device works. There is a moment of sheer terror when... Up, oh, there you go, uh-huh. You can go a little bit side to side. After the device is activated, it appears that the device is not working. But after a few minutes and a small adjustment... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see now? It's not the Man, it really jumped up there. It is obvious that the surgery was indeed a success. So how does it's it look a, different from what you just well, saw? Well, it's a larger mass for one thing. <laughs> you gained some Thanks, weight. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, the area it seems like it's more, uh, you know, larger in scale than it was before. Well, none of us were really prepared for much. And then today when they turned it on, 
just his reaction because he really had to concentrate more with the other device to even see a little bit. And when he just said, wow, when they first turned it on, I knew that this is going to really mean everything to him and us. His attitude changed. Um, he became, he had hope, you know, he had, um, he was, he, it seemed like he was, I almost want to say, had something more to live for. As, not as if he didn't have before, but um, he had something more to work for, I guess you'd say. Uh, it wasn't just for him, it was for people to be helped by this. And, and you could tell that his attitude um, really was, was all in. He had no hope before other than just getting through the day. And now he has hope for not only helping himself, but to help future generations and other people to see. I thank all of you very much. The recipients of this groundbreaking technology are referred to as Argus II ambassadors, and they are considered part of the Second Sight family.